What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be getting you set up with dual mining, pigeon, and raven coin on your AMD GPUs. Quick, simple, easy, fast. Stay tuned. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. No one might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm going to do it all for you. All right, guys, so we're going to be starting off here on the Windows desktop. We're going to do two things first before we even jump into trying to download anything. Just wanted to show you guys that I am actively mining, and it is the R9 290 VaporX that I have from Sapphire. We have it just mining right now on Pigeon Coin, 2.874 mega hash. Whenever I dual mine, I get 1.5 mega hash on Raven and Pigeon at the same time. But I'm going to close this down and show you exactly what you need to do right away. So we'll just leave this MSI afterburner in the background. We don't need it right now. So when you're at your desktop, go to your desktop and make two folders. All right, name one of them Raven and name one of them Pigeon. Okay, now make sure you do this first. This is important. One Raven, one Pigeon. All right, next thing that we're going to do. So you're going to go to the Raven Coin website. Once you get to... Let me backtrack just a second. I learned how to do this through Goose Tech. I watched his video and I'm just condensing it down to make it a simpler version for you guys to follow for strictly AMD GPUs and I'm going to be referencing his YouTube channel and I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel down below so that way if you guys don't know about him you can go check him out if you want to you know give him a shout out say hey man Spartan Body mentioned you in one of his videos just saying thanks do that if you guys want to I just want I don't want you guys to think I figured this out by myself I did have help I was watching this video, but it's not as easy as you think. All right, anyways, back to the point. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to ravencoin.org. I'll put the link in the description down below. Once you get to ravencoin.org, you're going to go to download binaries. Now, if you have a Windows PC, which is what I'm doing this on, you click the Windows folder. Once you click the Windows folder, you're going to download these four executable files. Two of them is going to be flagged by Windows. It's going to say that it doesn't trust the link. Don't worry about it. Once you click on this link, you're going to click here, you'll go to download, you'll go up here, you'll click save as, and in the save as folder, you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to pick the Ravencoin folder. That's what you're going to pick and you're going to save these files to that, to that folder. All right, so we did our first file, you'll do that for the CLI, the QT, the TX, and the .exe file. These four right here are the four files that you are going to need. Remember, two of them, Windows is going to say that it does not trust. What you can do is, once it says that, you can go over here, you can right click on it, and it will say allow download anyway. Allow that download, and it will download it to that folder. Make sure you are saving it to the Ravencoin or the Raven folder that we just made on our desktop. Okay, so you've done that for Ravencoin. The next step, follow along. Pigeoncoin, you're going to go here, you're going to go to releases. This is the pigeoncoin.org page. You're going to go to the pigeoncoin.org. You're going to click on the resources page right here, right beside GitHub. You're going to click releases. Once you click releases, you're going to download the pigeon-qt.exe file. When you save this, this is extremely important. Whenever you save this, save it in the pigeon folder. Okay? Save it in the pigeon folder. If you try to save both of them in the same folder, it will mess up and it will not allow you to run both of the wallets at the same time. Okay? Save it in the pigeon folder. All right, once you do that, whenever you click back on your folder, this is what it should look like. You're gonna have your Raven files that you downloaded for your wallet, and it's gonna have the client and all the directories and everything right there. And then in your pigeon folder, it's gonna have the pigeon wallet, as you can see right here. So that's why you have to separate them out. The main client's gonna be in here in the Raven folder, and then the pigeon client is going to be right here whenever you save the sub the sub directories because once you click on it it's going to come up and it's going to say where do you want to save the blockchain directory info etc etc go to your hard drive make a folder saying pigeon batch or pigeon uh, pigeon directory and then raven directory and save each one to its directory okay so we have this, hopefully you've followed along so far. Right, quick, simple, to the point, exactly what you need to know. All right, so now we can close this out. What is the next thing that we're gonna need? All right, so you're gonna need the miner. 
for AMD, you're going to need the SG miner. We're going to be doing Windows. So I'm going to put the link down in the description that's going to take you directly to the Brian112358 guy who puts out the SG miner. This guy's awesome. Thanks so much for all that you do for the mining community. We appreciate it. Anyways, you're going to need this one SG miner X16R V0.4.0 Windows zip. You're going to click it. You're going to save as. Where are you going to save it to? You're going to save it to the Raven folder. Okay? It's going to come here zipped. Once it comes here zipped, you're just going to unzip it. Okay? Once it's unzipped, this is what it's going to look like. All right. So we have that done. Now what? Well, the example file right here, this is what the executable actually is. So if you want to mine Pigeon Coin, you're just going to right click it, go to edit. Then you're going to go to the command line that's right here. All right, this is the most important part. I'm going to copy and paste this for the Raven command line and for the Pigeon command line. The only thing that you are going to have to do is change your wallet address. All right, that's all you're going to have to do is just change your wallet address and uh, your whatever the P or the username. You'll just change that to whatever card that you want. This is going to be the password that's going to allow you to track your stats on pickaxe pool okay and then the intensity is 19 I can bump this up but the cards running fine right now so I'm just gonna let it do what it's gonna do so right here on the dash U, this is where your wallet address goes in the dash P is gonna be the rig name that you have All right, I'm going to copy and paste this so for Raven this is the Raven line it's gonna be copy and pasted alright so don't worry about it and if you want to change this to pigeon what you're going to do is you're going to go to example you're going to go to copy you're going to go down here in the open space click paste and it's going to make a copy of it right so you'll come in here you'll go to edit so we see that part and then we're going to go up oh, not that we're going to go to the pigeon one that i've edited and then you'll just copy and paste it so once you set up your raven coin one just make a copy of it copy and paste it in the same folder go to edit and whenever you go to edit you copy and paste the one that I have for the pigeon line and paste it there remember change your wallet address and then you can change what your rig name is called to okay so once you copy and paste it here to change it to the pigeon one then whenever you go to file you'll just save as and call it pigeon dot bat okay that's gonna be both of your batch files so then once you have done that once you have done those two things, then you just click one of them. See, watch. So I click on the pigeon bat file. It should load us right into it. There you go. We're loaded right up. Now you can go to example. I just never changed it. I'll click on example. This is my Ravencoin one. And there you go. I'm connected right in. I'm going to be dual mining right away. It's as easy as that. Dual mining on an R9 290 VaporX card, and you're done. I'll have the link in the description to everything that you need to go to. Also, if you want to go to the pickaxe pool, I'm going to put this down below. This is where I got the information from Raven for the Raven pool and for the pigeon pool. It's super easy. All you got to do is go to the wallet and then you just submit your wallet address and then it searches it. You just click on your wallet address and then it shows you what it's paying you. Look how easy this is. Super simple to automatically pay out. Why not? So that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully this helped you out along the way. I know it was a quick video, but I try to be cons clear, concise, and directly to the point and exactly what it is that you need and how to set it up as fast as possible. No runarounds. I will have the batch file, the batch file in the description below. So all you have to do is copy and paste it directly to your example file that I showed you. I showed you exactly how to do it. Just remember, change your wallet address and put in a different username if you want to. Again, if once you load up your wallets this is exactly what it's going to look like if you want to get your wallet addresses for the individual coins you just go here you go to receiving address you'll click on receiving address and then it'll pop your address up and you just click the little clipboard and it copies it and that's the wallet address that you will use to get mine too all right guys that's going to be it i'm trying to make it as a short video as possible until the next video guys hey uh, wait no if you like it hit the like button if you're new to the channel please subscribe don't forget about free hash friday Free Hash Friday. Don't forget, it's in two days. Who doesn't want to get my mining rigs for 48 hours? Oh, 
Can I join my own contest? That'd be awesome. Anyways, until the next video, guys. Peace.